A very good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you're all good. And I am actually on my way back from Bristol right now because tonight is Swinub Spotlight Hour. It's actually the second Spotlight Hour that Swinub's had. I'm down. More XL candy. Mamoswine is a top, top ice type attacker, so I'm going to go hardcore. As per normal, it's only just gone 12 o'clock. Spotlight Hour is in six hours. We should be in the, in the pink, to be honest. In the green. I don't know what the terminology is. Before we dive into Spotlight Hour, which I will say, if you want to skip forward and watch Spotlight Hour, it is at the time on screen at the bottom there, because I hope that you can hear me, that's one thing. Last night, Niantic slash the Pokemon Go Twitter announced after GoFest, 18th of July, they are going to be switching up what bonuses are active in the game. And oh my god, it has created one hell of a sh storm on social media. People are not happy, and we are going to talk a little bit about that depending on how well this video comes out. They've announced what else is going to come to the game in terms of getting people out and about more bonuses for actually going out and about. From what I read, they're going to be able to give you two free passes per day, which is a good thing. I think that's, that's like five years overdue. However, it's what they're taking out that is very, very controversial. And honestly, I don't think I've seen a single positive thing on Twitter. There is no positive thing. Honestly, I was one of these people on social media. I think it's one of the stupidest decisions they've made that they're making. There's a petition going around. If you are in disagreement of what they are saying they're going to take out of Pokemon Go in a month and a bit's time, I highly recommend you speak up, sign the petition. It's on Twitter. They are reducing the radius at which you can spin Pokestops and gyms. They are taking that out. We know Niantic likes to do stupid things. I think this is one of the most cretinous decisions they've ever made. The effectiveness, the usability of incense while playing from home is going to be reduced. It will only be super effective to use incense if you are out walking. We're up to motorway cruising speed. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> I hope you can. There are two other things that they're changing, which honestly, I don't remember. I, I read the article late last night. I don't remember it. I haven't had time to look at it before driving back to London. The main headlines are that they are removing the double radius increase for hitting stops and gyms. That allowed so many benefits to the game. It increased playability. It increased the ability to play the game if you were at home, injured, incapable of going out as much. I honestly have no idea why they're doing that. And we have to make we have to make our voices heard because it just seems that Niantic are not listening. They are not listening to the player base. Niantic seems to be incapable of listening to feedback. The month of May was one of the best months, if not the best month for Pokemon Go I have ever seen personally. The events were really good. The legendaries were pretty good. They were new. Niantic were updating us and everything. And now June, I have to say, is the worst. I will comfortably say this is the worst month the Pokemon Go we have seen in years. The events have been pretty rubbish. The legendaries, the Regis, they're kind of there. But fundamentally, they released the worst update for the game I have ever seen. The fact that people have had to put out photosensitivity warnings with this update is just mind-blowing. And Niantic have not communicated at all to the player base that they are working on a fix. There's a fix going out at the moment, and apparently it breaks the game even more. So I don't understand who has quality tested the updates. Who at Niantic has thought, oh yes, that's a really solid plan, let's just remove. The pandemic hasn't ended Niantic. It's not like the pandemic has stopped at the end of July. It is very much here. Many communities out and about in the world you know, India and South America are two massive communities of this game. The pandemic is a very bad situation in those places at the moment. It hasn't gone away. They're still taking these things out. It, it honestly blows my mind. It blows my mind. The effectiveness of incense is also another stupid thing because that made incense one of the most usable, amazing items in the game. And now, if you sit at home and run an incense, you're going to get one spawn every five minutes. Way to devalue and demonetize yourselves. Honestly, Niantic, if anybody from Niantic ends up watching this video, which is highly unlikely, I know, but 
you are alienating your player base to such a vast extent that I don't think any game in history of video games, mobile games and stuff has done it this successfully. You are putting such a negative spotlight on yourselves. It is unreal. And if you don't listen to your player base very soon, you are going to notice a serious drop in revenue, player base, daily players, you know, content creators who actually want to play your game and put out videos surrounding it. You are doing such a poor job of communicating through your player base, communicating to your player base. It is pathetic, much like the speed at which we are traveling right now. Why are we doing 40? I understand this might not be the most factual breakdown of the update, but the things that they're keeping in are, they've said, oh, we're keeping these in. They're keeping in the ability to open 30 gifts a day and, and hold 20 in your inventory. But with the increase of 400 friends in the game, that should be doubled at the minimum. We should be able to open 100 gifts a day. You know, be able to hold 50 in your bag. They're taking out the ability to have your buddy bring you more things, more gifts, more items within the day. Like, with 400 friends and people are still very much in lockdown, in self-isolation and all of that sort of stuff. I don't know what world Niantic seems to be living in. I genuinely don't. And if they haven't seen the pandemic bonuses they put in place, they have massively increased the playability and the usability of their game. The fact that they're taking them away, I don't know of any company or any gaming outfit that likes to digress and likes to revert backwards to something more than Niantic do. It is utterly shameful. Utterly, utterly shameful. I want to say, from now on, apart from the raid hour live streams to help people who can't access gyms, I am free to play from this moment forward. I don't care what Niantic say, what they do with their updates, with whatever they're putting out in legendaries and stuff. I am free to play from this point forward. Niantic only seem to recognize that something is wrong when people stop playing and when people stop spending their money in the game. And honestly, I think that if, if a massive drop in the number of people spending money in the game, that is the only way that we're going to show to Niantic that we are not okay with what they're doing with the game that we enjoy playing. But with that, we'll come back a bit later. I also just want to give a little shout out to Trainer Gear. They do some fantastic stuff, including this level 50 jacket, which I want to get the level 50 badge put onto it, but it's honestly a really good jacket. I absolutely love it. Thumbs up of approval. Meanwhile, this person's stuck in the outside lane. What the bloody hell are you doing? Almost back in London. Hallelujah. They should be able to swing into the drive. There are bins in the way but home and dry for once. Yes, we're home and we made it into the driveway, despite the bins. I think we'll pick it up a little bit later for some spotlight hour action and a maybe a chat with a few of the local folks about why Niantic are a bunch of clowns. Later. Half an hour until spotlight hour for Swin Up. Last spotlight hour we were doing in the dark. It was December. We did get a hundo, so fingers crossed, looking at the stats, currently sat on 172 XL candy and 313 normal candy. Pokedex, we have seen, also they broke the lucky Pokedex. You know, so they broke it ah, well in the update. Just another thing that they broke in the update. We have seen 4,000 and 969 swim up. So we'll see how many we can get tonight. Obviously we want to catch everything. We're going to save them and trade them at a later time. Getting some steps in. Staying healthy. That's the key thing. <laughs> After Saturday night, I think we both need it. Yes. After a little... We drank the pub out of Jaeger, did we? Yes. We did our part. <laughs> Saving local businesses. Matter of seconds until Spotlight Hour kicks off. And first thing to note, I remembered to actually mega evolve the Obama Snow. We will be dropping an incense. Don't forget to check out Incense Pokemon Go podcast. It's linked in the description. And there we go. All of them are switched over. First thing to do, throw down the incense. And now, demonstrate the quick catch technique. Or my ability to actually do it. Remember to pine... I'm going to pine up everything tonight, I think. I forgot how far away Swinnob actually is. 
and how slow and annoying this update is. It is painful, this. Jesus, it's a lot slower. All I can say is thank God it wasn't like this for Gibble Com Day. Probably missed out on a good 200, 300 encounters. But that's, what, four checks? No, I don't really care for a shiny at this point. The XL, that's what we want, ladies and gentlemen. We've got, yeah, Swin Up is actually a bit of a bust to catch. It can be a bit annoying, but we'll just... I've cleared my cluster. <sighs> I'm getting lag spikes and everything, and attacks and all of that jazz. This is ridiculous. Yeah. All right, we're gonna ditch the pineapps immediately after. <laughs> no, literally, I think we caught about three. Come on, what, what the hell? Now I can't hit the incense. No shiny, but hey, two minutes for nine catches. That's way too long. Let's come back at the end of Spotlight Hour, shall we? Because honestly, I just want to grind. I want to get as much out of this as possible. Third, third Spotlight Hour in a row with a shiny. Genuinely, it's cool. It's an, I like the shiny, it's nice. Please let it be a random hundo. <laughs> That'll be amazing, but... Uh, it's more the catching, getting the normal XL, normal XL candy. That's the that's the aim here, not the shinies, to be honest. And no XL for that catch. But fifteen zero two, bloody brilliant. But it's a spotlight hour shiny, sweet. And I have to say, the lag at the moment is horrific. It is it is really problematic. So I'm struggling with quick catching. There's glitches, errors, lag, drop frames. Awful. Okay, Spotlight Hour is done and dusted, and we're ending, encounter-wise, on 5,322, which when we started on 4,969, I saw 264, which I, that I think was just sheerly the, the glitches and the lag, honestly. I haven't quite experienced glitches and lag like that. Frame drops so badly that the quick catch fails. We started on 179 XL and we're ending on 239, so 60-ish or so, 70. Not amazing, I have to say. Probably doesn't help the fact we didn't have weather boost, but I mean, candy count started on 300 odd and we're now at 1600. It could have been better. I feel like the glitches and the lag held us back compared to last week, has to be said. Let me know in the comments how you did on the spotlight out. Obviously, we did get one shiny. Let me know. If you got your shiny swim up. With that, we're gonna conclude tonight's Spotlight Hour video. So two things. Let me know how you did on said Spotlight Hour swim up. I think, honestly, I don't mind a repeat swim up Spotlight Hour. It's great, XL Candy Hunt, you know. The shiny was superfluous, frankly, on my account, but it's all good. Were you going for the XL Candy like me or were you in need of the shiny? More importantly, let me know your thoughts on what Niantic are proposing to remove and add to the game subsequently. Uh, tomorrow I do want to do a proper breakdown of good and bad aspects of what they're proposing because there are, in my view, there are far more negative, but I'll save that all for tomorrow. I need to go home and make some notes. But with that, thank you very much for watching everybody. Please do make sure to subscribe if you are new with notifications on so you don't miss any uploads or live streams. And of course, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. On the note of live streams, obviously tomorrow, it's Shiny Reggie Gigas Raid Hour. So if you're in need of that shiny, stop on by UK Raid Hour Time. I'll be live at 5.30, I think it's BST, British Summer Time. I'll be sending out invites for my raids as per normal. And I'll see you all then, ladies and gentlemen. Do take care. <laughs>